All right, here's another quick exercise. Um, so we want to know that this holds. So by 1-1,3, x plus y is less than or equal to x plus norm x plus norm y. So x here, we have room. I'll write it on another line. x minus y, this is, well, this is kind of more straightforward computations, but there's not much going on here, so I'll write out all the explicit stuff. This is just x plus minus y. So we apply this. This is less than or equal to norm x plus minus y. But this is just a minus 1, and so that's equal to 1 in norm, and so this is just x plus y. And there we go. Um, now we want to know about equality. Um, by exercise 1-2, one when does equality hold? Equality holds if and only if minus y is a non-negative constant multiple of x. Hence, x minus y equals norm x plus norm y if and only if y is a non-positive multiple of y. And there we go. We're done. And no, that should be x, um, positive multiple of x. And this kind of makes sense, like, if you were to just think about the real line, like, when would the distance between x and y be equal to the distance to x plus the distance to y? Well, if we're on a number line, and we've got, like, 0 here, and we've got, like, x here, and so if you had y, a non-positive multiple of x, then y would be somewhere down here, somewhere less than 0, um, or possibly at 0. But anyway, so this is y, and this is x, and this is the distance y minus x. And so we see only when y is a non-positive multiple of x do you have absolutely no cancellation between the norms, and so you get equality of this sum and the absolute value of the difference. So. There we go, that completes the proof.